It's Tiny Tuesday. It is the day where we get to step our mini savings challenges. And you guys, this is the last Tiny Tuesday of the year. So let's get into this video. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel, The Almost Organized Hour, where we are on a mission to get organized in our finances through budgeting, cash stuffing, and savings challenges. If that is something that interests you, please stick around. I hope that you all had a wonderful time with your family and your friends celebrating the holidays. Um, we had a wonderful time. Christmas Eve was um, was definitely amazing and Christmas was amazing as well. Um, I mentioned Christmas Eve because that is the um, the day that we selected to be a blessing to those within our community. So we were able to bless some of our unhoused neighbors um, with the funds from the Blessed to Be a Blessing savings challenge that I finished a while ago. And um, we used those funds to purchase some blankets. And um, it just so happened that I was going to, to prepare some platters to take out when we go with the blankets. But I had a neighbor who had a, a an event at, at her office and they had um, too much food. And she brought this huge box that was catered. Um, they had the, the meal catered by Cracker Barrel. And they had this huge box of food um, that they had remaining from the event. So my family and I, we um, got some platters and we put um, put the food inside of these platters and took the items to our unhoused neighbors along with the blankets. And so it was absolutely awesome. My children, they were so excited. I was so surprised at how excited they were to um, be able to participate and to um, and to prepare the the meal, you know, prepare the the um, platters, and to actually hand out the blankets and all the wonderful. Th it was just, you guys, I can't put it into words how joyful my heart was to see how much joy that they got from being able to be a blessing to other people. So this is definitely something that we want to continue moving forward as our family um, to do something for others um, on Christmas Eve. It was just, it was a marvelous feeling. And um, to hear the people when they received the items and they were grateful. Now, mind you, it wasn't all, you know, roses out there. <laughs> um, we did have some people who were, you know, not very happy um, and who, you know, weren't very receptive. But then, but the majority of people were very accepting and they um, were very grateful for the items that we were able to give to them. It was just really a blessing. Definitely pray for the people as I saw them coming and that sort of thing that God would just bless them and um, watch over them and protect them. And I am grateful that we were able to, to have the funds this year that we saved up through this cash stuffing method to be able to be a blessing um, to others. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And it, it was really, uh, it was really great. Okay. Um, the first savings challenge that we're going to do is the Owl Save of Budgeting Gear, Budget Gear rather, and we're putting $2 per icon or $2 per glasses um, into this one. And these challenges will most likely carry over with us into the new year just because they are a little bit slower to get done because we use um, funds from here and there <laughs> in order to cash stuff um, this particular binder. So I'm going to put in $4 in here. Oh, I forgot to mention that we have $40 that we're working with today. And so I'm going to put in $4 into this challenge. And I hope that you all enjoyed your Christmas. Um, the children had an amazing time on Christmas Day. They were really happy. We had some um, members of... Uh, our church who just blessed the children and they um, they purchased gifts for them. They've given them money. <laughs> They've just really, um, our church family has really just been such a blessing to our family. And so it was, um, it was exciting to see them open up the gifts and all the things. Um, Mom is doing better. Uh, she is still under the weather, but she is doing much better than she was before. So I'm grateful to God for that. She came down and joined us um, when the children opened up the gifts and we had a lovely meal and it was just, it was a wonderful time. 
I'm going to grab the $4 for this. Grab a 5 and put take out a 1. It was a good time being able to just disconnect from all things, you know, work and um, socials and all the things and just really focus in on being with family and connecting with um, people. And it was just it was really a good time to just um, be present. Um, oftentimes we have devices and things and pings and, you know, notifications and that sort of thing. Um, that distract us from being present. And I just wanted to be present with our family. So I, you know, set the phone down. I, you know, made sure that um, there was no distractions with devices and we just really had some genuine family time. And that was just, it was so needed and it was refreshing and it was wonderful <laughs> um, to really watch our children as they interacted with each other and, um, look at their little personalities coming out, especially my littlest one. So that was very exciting. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that opportunity. This savings challenge is from um, Rami over at Budget Paparazzi. And so let's see what we can save with this one. This is $9. So we're going to go ahead and put in $9 into this one. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to go check out Budget Paparazzi. Um, Rami on YouTube and on Etsy. Okay, so on Rami's, I scratched a nine and I put in the nine dollars for this one. And then we have on Madeline from Madeline Budgets. I um, thought that I was recording, but something I, I wasn't recording. So we have, let's see. I scratched both a four and a four here and I added in $8 into the savings challenge. And we may come back to this one if we have additional funds. The next savings challenge is from Jerry over at One Frugal Introvert. And we're going to finish off the savings challenge and it's $9 remaining on this one. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the $9. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That we have to put this one. And we are complete. This challenge is complete. So let's go ahead and count up the funds to see if we have the correct amount in here. And let's see here. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, and 63. Exactly correct. So we have $63 that we get to move over. So we have $63 that we get to move over to our 100 envelope savings challenge. And so that is exciting to be able to add more money to that challenge so that we can continue to work on that. All right. Next up is the I'll Save Wisely Savings Challenge. And this is from Jesse over at Jesse Budgets. And we are going to finish this one off as well. Let's see, how much do we need in here? So we have two, four, six, eight dollars that's needed in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, and I'm going to grab my pink marker to finish this one off. Okay, and I will save wisely. It's complete. And this saving, I just, you know, this is just so cute. <laughs> and this is supposed to save $50. So let's see. We have 20, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, fifty. We have fifty dollars in this savings challenge, and that is accurate. So that is wonderful. So this one is complete, and I am going to also add this one to our one hundred envelope savings challenge in the new year. So that is so exciting, and we still have two dollars remaining. So I'm thinking we can go back, and let's see. 
let's go ahead and put the two dollars into this one no ious to start off the new year <laughs> with little scratch offs so we're going to put in the two dollars into this one okay so we are carrying over three challenges in the new year in the tiny tuesday binder also i wanted to ask that you all will just keep in mind those within our community as well as um those in our nation and across the world who may be suffering during this time of the year due to loss or just feeling sad um, or having to deal with certain things. And this time of the year may be tough for them. So I would ask that you would just say a prayer for all those who are experiencing loss or mourning or just who are sad during this time of the year that they will find hope and be comforted um, during this season. Have a hope and an expectation of good things to come um, as the new year approaches. And so that is exciting to have a fresh start, a clean slate, a new year that we can celebrate. Um, and we know for all those who are um, Christians, we know that our hope is found in Jesus. And so we pray that um, for those who don't have that hope, that they will find hope in the Savior. Um, we finished up some savings challenges today, and I'm I'm really excited about that. And so we have two savings challenges um, completed that we could to use towards our 100 envelope savings challenge. And you guys, this has been an incredible year, and I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. I pray that God blesses you and keeps you um, as we close out this year and go into a new one. Have a wonderful, wonderful time this week celebrating the end of one season and the beginning of a new one. And until next time, you guys, bye.